That's incredible, and You know what really gets me about that is that is not a good swing. And that ball stayed straight, which was the interesting bit. Now, how many times do you hear anybody say male watching the female professional game that we should be paying greater attention to what these ladies are using because quite honestly we swing more like they do in terms of club head speed but how many times do we take that a blind bit of notice you see the shot you've just seen me hit well that was with uh that was with a ladies golf club a very special ladies golf club but nonetheless a ladies golf club i've got 175 in for my second shot and you see that second shot you see me play? Well, that was also with a ladies golf club. A special ladies golf club, but nonetheless, a ladies golf club. It was a full hybrid. And it looks like I'm pin high. And of course, yeah, you've got it. That was from a ladies putter, very special ladies putter, blah, blah, blah. You get the picture. So the question is, why am I playing golf with ladies golf clubs and, uh, well, what exactly are those golf clubs and why do I think they're so special? Yeah, so second green in reg driver off the tee i played a 55 degree sand wedge into this position which is about 15 foot we've got another chance of birdie go on be right you've won under through two with uh, a lady set of golf clubs haven't really missed a fairway out the both of them green in reg now rolling in the putts now i'll tell you why i've got these clubs Right, so I think I need to start explaining what this is all about. Uh, a few days ago, a box of ladies golf clubs arrived with some testing that we wanted to carry out. I've started that testing, it went very well, and I thought, well, I'll tell you what, we'll see what happens when I take them out on the golf course. And this is where we're at so far. You've just seen another green hit in regulation on the third. I'm about to put for two under through three, and then I'll explain what is so good about these clubs, possibly at least, for many average golfers out there. You know what really gets me about that is that is not a good swing and that ball stayed straight which was the interesting bit that first bogey of the day on a par five right so after a decent drive a decent seven wood not so good wedge slightly got the distance wrong there and didn't manage to get up and down i make the first bogey of the day but let's get back to the story these golf clubs from taylor made and why i think they're so interesting for most of us average golfers it's the tailor-made Kalea range. It is their premium lineup in terms of full bag for ladies. So it's 14 clubs. Putter is the spider model, essentially dressed up in some, uh, well, I'd say more feminine colors. It's more of a blue color, that's all really. Then we've got some uh, iron set up from a six iron through to this, the, the lineup of wedges, which is a pitching wedge, a sand wedge, and an A wedge. And that's where I got those yardages slightly wrong just then. Then after that six iron, it then moves into a mix of hybrids, fairway woods, and then up into that driver. But they are really interesting because of one major thing. 
Now, when I say one major difference, there are a couple, to be honest with you. One I'm going to reference is the shaft that is in each one of these clubs. One thing is it is a light shaft in terms of flex. The other is it's 40 gram in weight. So that's extremely lightweight shaft compared to my 120 KBS Tour stiff. So there should be significant differences in terms of my ability to play golf with these irons, these drivers, these fairway woods. But as you've seen so far, that hasn't been the case. And I'm wondering why. That's incredible, and you recording? I'm not too sure we had the audio on or not there. What I said was that's incredible hand because what is incredible is this super lightweight shaft is meaning that I am swinging a club a lot slower than I normally would, which means my tempo is really good, which means my control is really good. These shafts are also a lot shorter than any other relevant shaft that I would have in my men's lineup. So again, greater control. And what I've seen from three drives that I've hit is that been bullet straight. They found pretty much the middle of the fairway exactly where I'm aiming and pretty much found that from every iron I've played also. Now you start to understand why I'm questioning shaft, head, length of shaft combination, whatever it is that makes these clubs extremely playable for me and I think for many more average golfers. This is a really interesting experiment, I suppose, and a surprising set of results so far through four and a half holes. Right, okay, so the first thing that interests me is the fact that we've now, or I've just hit, you're watching me hit the fifth drive of the day. I'm choosing driver off the tee where sometimes I wouldn't ordinarily pick it off some of these tee positions because, uh, well, I'm not overly confident with driver. But that's a complete opposite with this club in hand. And again, I feel really good at the dress and I feel like I can't miss it. You'll also notice if I replay those other drives that you'll see that there's no curvature in the ball flight whatsoever. They're essentially bullet straight. There's 12 and a half degrees of loft on the driver head and the shaft itself, like I said, is that 40 gram light shaft. And I feel like I've got a lot of control over it. So much so as that fifth drive that you just see me hit, it didn't feel too good on the way back down. I was able to make some adjustments uh, before, just before impact. And you could see that, uh, I don't know what it looked like on camera, but the ball went absolutely bullet straight yet again. So what is it that's working particularly well? Is it 12 and a half degrees of loft on the driver or is it in fact this super light 40 gram shaft? Let me know your thoughts on the experiment so far. Well, the first thing to mention is the fact that we've got a pitch mark that was literally, I don't know, a couple of feet from being where it was perfect and we're putting for a birdie. But the essential part is what I am noticing playing the game and I'm hoping you're seeing from uh, the visuals you're watching is what this shaft has done it has meant that I have literally slowed down my swing it's all about control it's about rhythm and it's about tempo and I can't believe the impact that that has had on how good I have played the game of golf today with six holes in I think I'm much pretty much greens fairways and regs I'm not missing much the only shot I got was uh, a short wedge coming into uh, both holes four and five and that's about understanding how far you hit each club but like I said I hope it's visible on camera my tempo is all about rhythm it's all about finding fairways about keeping the ball straight in play all the things that make the game a whole lot easier and for whatever reason this lighter shaft is making me do that subconsciously or not I don't know but that's the one notable thing I've got it's all about rhythm and all about timing now, I would say this is a birdie putt but a birdie chance but it's uh it's one of those you'll be glad to get down in two. Oh, it had a chance had a chance and then gives you one of those slippery four footers back down the hill That's a, another par and keeps us at one under with ladies clubs and a 40 gram shaft with light flex. Work that one out.
I just want to briefly talk to you about this Kalea range because seriously it's a proper set of golf clubs it is really nice and I said I said about feminine clubs it's not really to be honest with you I'd be more than happy with these in the bag it's kind of it looks a superb finish and as you can see from the visuals a real premium product that TaylorMade have brought out but it is specifically aimed at the ladies game but I like the set makeup like I said they stop at six iron I talk a lot on this channel about the men's game um, in the main in terms of what we're testing and I always say that once you get to six iron we're starting to struggle a little bit in terms of club head speed so the idea of switching into hybrids and fairway woods is such a good idea they've got a six fair uh, six hybrid rather 31 degrees they've got a seven hybrid at 35 degrees they've then got a seven wood they've got a five wood and they've got a 12 and a half degree driver and what they're essentially saying is that loft is a big help to golfers who swing the club a little bit slower because essentially going back to the beginning of the video when we watched the pros even in the ladies game they swing the club a little bit more like perhaps what we do loft is a massive massive help but we still see in the men's game whatever it is in terms of the uh the mentality behind the clubs we choose to play i still think this kind of setup is ideal for most average golfers and when i sit the likes of this six iron behind the ball six hybrid rather behind the ball all it does is breed confidence i see so much loft presented I just feel like I said I just need to put an easy swing on this thing that ball's going to pop up in the air it's going to pop down the fairway with not a great deal of effort so why the hell would we not to choose to play this kind of setup and this kind of lofted setup because it's perfect for us Right, so that's my nine holes complete and I think I've gone round in level par which is a uh, yeah it's a damn good score there's no doubt about that and I think the only place I really dropped shots was when I got yardages wrong and that's something you'd have to familiarize yourself with but like I said at the beginning of this video it was very much an experiment and the experiment sort of for me at least proved that we as average golfers need perhaps lighter shafts than what we think that tempo timing and finding the middle of golf club faces is really important keeping that golf club face square is really important and having that greater control with the lighter shaft and the shorter shafts and the loft that's in all these clubs just made all those things that little bit easier even so much as the driver apart from the one i leaked out a little bit uh, right on the ninth hole everything i hit was pretty much bullet straight with no curvature in it i don't know how long they were going but they were certainly long enough from where i've played from today i never had any great distances in um, or struggling in terms of what my second shots were so First of all, if you're a lady that wants a new set of golf clubs, then the Kalea range is absolutely fantastic. I've not played with many ladies golf clubs before, but they're just, well, it's like playing with any premium set of golf clubs I've ever played with. Everything performed incredibly well. I almost feel like, I mean, these, are, these have been aimed at ladies. It's, that's, what, that's what it's geared up to be. I think if you go on the website of TaylorMade, that's what you'll find them under. But these are a set of clubs that would do very well in a lot of uh, average golfers men's hands and i think that you know obviously there's options in the men's section to be choosing those 40 gram light shafts and i think it's well worth considering based on what i've at least found today so as ever with this channel we're always looking at things to try and make the game a bit easier i definitely think this is an option you should all be considering when you next go for your custom fit right as ever thanks for watching any experiences that you've had that you've found similar or not then let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you all soon.